Hey guys, welcome back today. It is Wednesday. We're halfway through the week. Yay, we can do it guys. Today I'm going to try my hand at collaging. Uh, for like the past several days, I have been binge watching Rosie on East of Honey. She is a YouTuber that makes beautiful like collage art from recycled books that she's found at thrift stores and magazines. And she was just really inspiring. And I really want to try, I want to try my hand at that. So um, I stopped at my one of my local thrift stores on my way home from work and I picked up some books to look through. I've got two National Geographic magazines. I found this fun Life Smiles Back. It's full of really funny, cute images in here, all black and white. This one is called Red on Red, creating stunning interiors using reds and pinks. It's full of gorgeous colored images. And then I found this last one is Celebrating Australia. This one was just really full of absolutely gorgeous images and let's just try and see what kind of collage I can create. I have never done collaging before so this is all new to me. I don't know what to do or where to begin so um yeah but uh hopefully I learned enough from Rosie to kind of figure out how to uh at least attempt it. Ooh, right now I'm really liking this picture right here because we got some uh people like taking a picture of the like this mountain but what I'm thinking of is like in collages you would cut out that background and put something different back there like something really make it funny make it like make it not make sense that's the kind of like in a way the whole purpose is to make it look funny like make it where it doesn't really go together at all so I'm gonna start with a this picture because this is already speaking to me and that's pretty good that's pretty good for a start so um, I've got my X-Acto knife. I'm not sure if I want to use my X-Acto knife to cut it out. Oh, it's a bummer. I'm going to not be able to use these beautiful photos on the back. But sometimes you, that happens. I think, I think I'm going to use my X-Acto knife on this. I'm going to cut it out. Let's see if I can do this here. <laughs> I think we're off to a good start. Have any of you guys ever tried, you know, like the... Uh, actual collage art. It's, it's slightly different from glue booking. It's different from junk journaling. But yeah, I will make sure to uh, link Rosie's channel down below. It's called East of Honey. So yeah, please go check, go check her out and, and see what, uh, what I'm talking about when I'm, when I'm talking about like collage and stuff and see some of her work. She makes some really good stuff. I mean, she's real, real good at it. Plus, she's just fun to listen to and watch, and she's real inspiring. So it's kind of, kind of why I'm attempting this. And then we'll see what else I can find. I really gotta figure out what to do, like in the background here, because that's gonna make the collage pop what it is. All right, almost there. One more edge. Oops, this is like right on the edge here. It's gonna be hard. All right, let's try it this way. Always be careful when working with sharp objects, especially an X-Acto knife. These are really sharp blades. These are sharp craft blades for doing stuff like this. All right, ooh, yay, there we go. Okay, there is our first image. And uh, I've got a piece of um, white cardstock here to kind of glue it on down, kind of work. I have something for like a base, basically, for it to stick on. So I think what I'm gonna do is cut out this background already, just to get this out of the way here so that way I can maybe kind of hold it up to some pictures I find and and this is what takes the longest the fussy cutting I hope I can find something good 
I have absolutely no no ideas, none whatsoever. I actually haven't really really looked through these books either. I just kind of just bought them and uh, I'm just now looking through them. So I have no ideas, no plans. We're just completely winging it right now. It's like a, like a mystery. It's all a mystery. Cut right on off the mountain here. Finding books at uh, thrift stores is, is a great way to find images for all of like your glue books and your junk journals and all of your like fun crafting needs. It's super inexpensive. It gives more use to the to the book, whereas most often when books don't sell in thrift stores, they just throw them away. They would just end up in our landfills. I know some of you are probably cringing at cutting up a book, but you got to think about where it's going to end up if nobody buys it. If nobody buys it and, and uses it for whatever, it's going to end up in the landfill. So look, I can even still save some of these little snippets. That's a pretty, pretty much, yeah, I can still save it. All right, let's find a background. What have we got? Okay, this is red on red, creating stunning interiors using red and pink. Ooh. No, I don't know if I'll find anything... I ah, see like images like this, when you cut that out, you can cut out all the little windows and stick something behind it. That's kind of collaging. Don't know if I'll find anything in here or maybe I can find some like smaller things to kind of stick, stick around here or something. I don't know. We'll see. So like, with this, you got a, a mirror right here. You cut out the inside of that mirror and you can totally stick something there. This is actually a really, really pretty book. And even, you can even cut out like candlesticks like this and stick them in there. I actually kind of want to cut that out and stick that in. I don't know what my background is, but I want to cut out that candlestick and use it. <laughs> I think I'm going to. Okay, let's see. Do I want to use scissors or do I want to try with an exacto knife? I think uh, I just gotta make sure that I'm not gonna if I can cut right here. All right, set that aside. Yep, I want to. I actually want to use this. I'm kind of thinking I want to stick it like right here or something. Just because I can, because it's it's my collage, and you can do whatever you want. And the whole point is to kind of make it funky, make it funny looking, make it m look like it's not making sense, but yet in some way it is. That kind of I don't know. Rosie explains it a little better. You just go check out her channel, guys. She's she's really really sweet. She's just. Great to listen to. I kind of sometimes will fall asleep listening to her videos. I will make sure to have her channel down below for you guys for you to check out. It's very, very detailed fussy cut in here. Very detailed. I know Rosie, she uses um her X-Acto knife a lot, but I'm not very good at like fussy cutting out images with an X-Acto knife. So I kind of will, I'll use my scissors more quickly because I, I use that more often. So I have more practice with the scissors. I'll snip that off because it's in the way. I can even save like this piece of colored pink here. Or even, even that gentleman right there. Lots of, lots of possibilities. I've seen some people do some collages on a TikTok and they're like extravagant. Like it takes them months because they're always finding new little things to add to it from like hundreds of books. And I'm like, man. 
Like, where do you find all that? I had a hard enough time just finding these few books. Although my thrift store I went to didn't have a whole lot. There we go. See? One candle. <laughs> all right. Now we need a we need a background, guys. Okay. This Ooh, oh, yikes. Almost sent you for a ride there. This National Geographic has some Saturn, so let's see if we can't find some Saturn-y images. No. Nope. Oh, here we go. What have we got? Oops. That's a big one, but I think it might be too big. Where's my image? I need my image. Here we go. Come here. Oh man, but that right there would be so cool. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> or, oh shoot, you almost want to have the candle like right here so it makes it look like the glow is glowing on this side. Oh, okay, hang on. What if we, um, what if we did this? What if we flipped it over and we did, and we did this? I'd have to do it like here. Oh. <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, what do you think? What do you think? I think that looks so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, but now I gotta try and carefully cut out this. I gotta cut this out somehow. Oh, this is gonna make me nervous. Ah, I don't know if I'm gonna. Oh, see, I'm not good cutting with an X Acto knife. Did it cut? Okay. Oh, oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is actually working out better than I was expecting it to. Especially for my first, first time collaging. <sighs> okay, all right. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this down. I know there's gonna be that crease in there. There's nothing I can do about that, guys, sorry. Ugh. But you know what, it's my first one. I still think I'm doing pretty darn good. I'm gonna glue this down right here so then I can cut around it so that I have it like it's perfect. Yep, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start there, so that way I can stick it down right where I want it. Ooh, there's hair stuck on that. Okay. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh wow. I don't understand why I have never done this in the past. I mean, we used to have so many National Geographic magazines. My my grandpa had a subscription to that for years. He had sent. We had. Hundreds of National Geographic magazines, and uh, I loved looking through them all the time. I would always pull them off our shelf and look through them, and I just never thought to, you know, maybe save them and do some collage art. That would have, like, it would have been so awesome to save my grandpa's National Geographic. I don't think he even has that many in the house anymore. I think the family kind of got rid of them. But I don't know what's stuck in there. Oh, what is in there? Get out. Booger. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to glue this down too, right there, because it's perfect. Oh, it's so perfect. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use like a scrap piece here just to, so I don't get glue all over the page. I'm actually trying to keep this nice. Oh my gosh, I think Rosie would be so proud. I don't think she will ever see this video, but Rosie, if you ever see this video, what do you think? Tell me what you think. I doubt she'll see this video, guys. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That'd still be cool if she did. She's a she's a pretty uh, kind of famous YouTuber. So Awesome. Okay, I should trim this down. I want to figure out, do I, mm, do I want to have it go this way? No, I can't have it go the long way because it's, oh, I could. Yeah, yeah, I could. Okay, cool. Then I can get most of the, uh, okay, where did my uh, thing go? Where did my thing go? My, uh, where's, my, where's my cutting mat? Where's my cutting mat? Didn't I just have my cutting mat? I've lost my cutting mat. I'm not going blind. 
Hey guys, help me. Help me find my cutting mat. Is it still in the book? Is it still in the book? Is it still in the book? I don't know where it is. I just had it. It was right here. I'm losing it, guys. I'm losing it. It's, it's been... Oh. It's still... Guys, help. Send help. It was still in the book. It was still in the book. Okay. It's a little warm, guys. I'm a little overheated. Just ignore me. Just ignore me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay. Yep, we're gonna trim this side down. Make sure that's nice and straight. Cutting mat isn't long enough. Go over it a couple times to make sure I cut all the way through. Okay, um, and I'm gonna have to scooch it down just so I can get the rest. Just gotta keep it straight. This is probably what takes the longest. Okay, just toss my cuttings off to the side there. Okay, let's do this side here. And then we'll work on the bottom. I hope that's straight. You know what? We're just gonna go with it. There's the edge of the uh, cutting mat. <laughs> All right, move it up. I'm gonna finish the bottom here. All right, I think it's still save that. Got some nice black there, or some. I can even use the whole that whole thing there because that's that's still pretty cool looking. Save your scraps, guys. I always, I'll keep telling you, save your scraps because you never know. You could make some pretty awesome stuff with just your scraps. Oops, move that. Don't move, you must stay put. All right. Okay, always put your cap back on your knife too. Okay, all right, we're getting there, we're getting there. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh, okay. I need to find, oh, that looks so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. <sighs> Some cat hair on there, get off of there. All right, I should find maybe the one more something. Something's gotta go up there. Let's see if there's anything. Okay, hold up, hold up. Do we want the bird landed on the planet? It's kind of big though. He go right off the page. Although that would be kind of cool though. Having it go off the page. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, I wish there was another bird. There's another bird, bird in here. That's maybe. Oh, we don't want to see that dead bird. That's sad. Darn. I think that's the only. Oh, there's a there's a head. Hmm, doesn't look like it. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. Really cool. Okay, well, you know what? We can um we can cut it out and kind of see. Let's see if I can get this cut out nicely. Oh, I just kind of cut in the whole darn thing. That's okay. It's okay. All right. I'm just gonna take it just so we can see. We don't we won't know until we. Kind of give it a try. I'm gonna cut off this bottom part a little bit here. So the words, okay. So it'd be kind of landing on like that. Oh, it'd be right around, what do you think? Or should I have them like up here maybe? Hmm. Let's see if we can cut this away. And kind of get his little talons here to kind of see what we're working with. Because then he'd be landing. Yep, he would kind of go off off the page a bit. I don't know. I'm not, not quite feeling it. I mean, it's cool, but not quite feeling it. Let's keep looking. Let's keep looking. I still got... Oh, look, two can. What else could we find in here? 
Even some of the ads would work too. Oh, what is that? Hmm, interesting stuff. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything that's really... If I got another magazine, we could quick look through if I have to. Keep on. I know I'm going through these kind of quickly, but I don't want to make this video too long. Oh, you know what? It's all right. Sometimes, sometimes a long video is okay. Penguins, lots of penguins. <laughs> nope, I'm not seeing anything in here. Is there anything else with uh I oh I could cut out the moon. We could add a moon with it. We could do that. That's alright. I don't want to make it too too crazy. It is my first collage after all. Ooh, some really cool images here. That's that's cute. I almost mm, I almost kind of want it <laughs> growing right there. You know what? <laughs> I think I think I like that. I think I like that. Let's see if I can get that cut out. Halfway decent. But that's gonna be some interesting fussy cutting. Sorry if I keep bumping the camera, guys. I know I'm just all over the place right now. What do you think? We kind of stick it back there and have it growing right in the... <laughs> I mean, that would be, you know, photo worthy. All right. Let's start cutting this out. See now I'm really now when I go thrift shopping, I'm gonna be looking through all of their books now for like collage worthy images. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I've already got so many books guys I got so many books you know what I think I might try and use my uh my exacto knife on that side on those I'm gonna give I'm gonna give the exacto knife a try with some of the tiny detailed stuff wish me luck. See if doing it with the exact one that will be better. Oh gosh. I think the thing is is trying to get, you know, like the curvature. Yeah, see, I can't seem to keep it on the line. How does she do this? Like when you have to follow the curve of the image? How? Rosie, what is your secret? So it's like I'm, I'm, my, my knife wants to just go wherever. It doesn't want to follow the curve of the image. This is so hard. I'm like super concentrating here, guys. Ah, oh, see, now I start cutting the image because it wants to, I can't seem to keep it where it has to go. Yeah, see, it cut some of the image. Challenging, I'm telling you. This is gonna take so long. I wonder if I'd be faster with the scissors because I'm not very good at this. And it is a very like detailed kind of 
image. <laughs> That's it. We're moving back to scissors. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I tried. I tried. I gave it a try. I want my scissors. I want my scissors. Because this is like super. And like I said, I think I can get it faster with the scissors. So I don't want to spend too much time on this. This takes a great deal of concentration, guys. Hold your breath with me. But no, don't, don't, don't hold it for too long. Don't, don't do that. What kind of books do you guys like to look for when you want to, you know, find some images for like your glue books or collaging or just some fun images for junk journal? What kind of books do you mainly look for? Do you like to look for, do you look for like National Geographic ones or do you like to look for like those coffee table books? Those always have a lot of really good images in them. Do you like to look for like school kind of books? I like to kind of try and look for vintagey books because they always have like the best kind of pictures. I just had very good, always had very good luck with vintage, vintage books. Those can be harder to find. Yeah, because not they're not too found too quickly in thrift shops. And it's crazy, it seems like every single thrift shop I go to, they all have different prices on their books. I think this place I went to, it was 50 cents for their magazines. It was a dollar for their soft cover, which I got one soft cover, the life. This is considered soft cover, because you know, it's, it's a soft cover. That was a dollar, and then the, the two hard covers here, those were $2 each. So it's $2 for hard covers. Yeah, whoops, oh guys, did I just totally poke you? I poked you with the scissors, oh no! I know, my mom always told me never run with scissors, but she never said don't wave it about when you're filming a video. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hope you can still see, because I'm, I'm, I'm super concentrating right now. Gotta get all these little, little tiny things. We're almost there, I think I'm about halfway. Or more. Then we can put together and hope that it turns out. I'm pretty pleased with what I got so far though. So Okay, oh, so much tiny little detailed stuff here, okay. Yeah, see, now, I've, now I wanna go back and do some more thrifting. I wanna do some more thrifting. stuck come on we're so close here just cooperate a little bit more I had to pick the most complicated image I couldn't help it guys it was speaking to me it was speaking to me I kind of had to okay we're getting there we can do this <sighs> gotta keep going don't give up I totally could have like, you know, stopped the video and just cut it out and then resumed when I was done, but I didn't think that far ahead. So you get to see the whole long lengthy process. I'm tired and pooped. I gotta figure out what to have for dinner. I got a headache, probably from staring at this. No, I, I basically had a headache all day. I've had a headache all day. Okay, this little bit is being stubborn. 
only because I can't see. Probably should have grabbed my smaller scissors. Ooh, guys, I've been busy organizing. I bought some new, like, cute little, like, organizing rollaway carts so I can put some of my craft stuff on them and I can just wheel them into like a corner and when I want to work on stuff I can wheel it out so I got one for all of my like my YouTube and glue booking stuff I'll have to show you guys someday there we did it all right I think I'm gonna what you can do I think what she does is she just cuts like a oop, hang on that out of the way. I think I want it about mm, here. So I'm going to cut a slit right here at the horizon for it to fit in. Okay. And then, and then she slides things in like so. <laughs> Even the lighting actually works good. Oh my gosh, check that out, guys. Yep, I'm gonna glue that down and we're gonna call this piece done because your girl is pooped. Okay, this is what's gonna be tricky. You gotta carefully glue it and then stick it in the hole. And then, please don't take that saying out of context, guys. I'm, I'm talking about the little slit that I made in the paper. Let's keep this, keep this PG. Okay. Oh boy. There's, there it is. Okay. Ah. Okay. I don't know how far down I had it. I think that's gonna be good, right? Nope, oh, it's crooked. Oh gosh, okay. Oh no, please don't be crooked. Are you straight? No, not really. Oh damn, I can't get it straight. I can't get it to stay straight. Okay, you know what? That's gonna have to be good. Okay, I think that's good. I think it's good. <gasps> okay, <laughs> looky, looky guys, look at all right, then the last step would be to glue it to the paper so that it has a good sturdy uh, base, basically. I don't know what Rosie glues all hers on. I think she does it on like cardstock or something. And then I can trim around the uh, edges to make it look neater so you don't see the white paper. bad for my first collage. Not bad. There's some uh, like wrinkles in there. We can, we can work with it. Some of the edge didn't get glued all the way down, but I could always yeah. fix that later. Like... Ooh, oh, yikes. I got a big wad of glue on my fingers. Get off of me. <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna trim off the white border because then it'll look it'll look a lot nicer. And we're almost done, guys. Oh, wow! This video is over 30 minutes long. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope it worked out well for you. I had so much fun. Check out my first collage. 
my first collage. Look at that, guys. Oh, what do you think? I think it looks amazing. Oh, I love that so much. This is perfect. I'm so excited and happy. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys, on this new adventure of trying out something new. Thank you, Rosie, for all the wonderful inspiration and kind of teaching me how to kind of begin and all that. I'll make sure to have her channel linked below. Check out Rosie's channel, East of Honey. She's awesome and amazing. And yeah, oh, this was awesome. Now I'm going to have to find like a cool little, like little book or something or a binder to keep all of these in. Oh, just more craft stuff I don't need. <laughs> Until next time, guys. Bye.